Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm the king. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today is Sunday, which means there's less than two days left until we find out what this new chapter is, who this iconic killer is, the mysterious survivor, and the terrifying map. So today, what I've decided to do was go ahead and put all of the theories together, the ones that I've heard everywhere, because every day on Twitter, on Twitch and Discord, even on emails, I get people saying, I think it's this for this reason. I think it's this for this reason. And a lot of people repeat a lot of the same things. So we're going to go over some of the favorites that people are talking about and give you guys information why it can and cannot be that character. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it. We'll start off with Jason. Jason is the first one on the list. And as you know, Friday the 13th is the final stone essentially in the Infinity Gauntlet that Dead by Daylight needs. This is the biggest one on the list before anything else. And it would complete all of the classical killers. You know, you have Freddy in there, you have Myers in there. Jason would be ideal for that. So he is a big favorite for it. Now, we also know that they said this is going to be classical. It's going to be emotional. So this also fits the glove for that. So a lot of people are speculating that it can be Jason. And Polyester has made a wonderful theory on this. There's a lot of information that may point on into it. For example, May 26th, the reveal of the new chapter is also when Friday the 13th came out. So that's something that could correlate with everything. However, on the flip side, there are some negatives, and these are some major negatives on why this might not happen. Friday the 13th, the game itself, is stuck in legal limbo right now. As you guys are probably familiar with, there is currently a lawsuit going on. So getting their hands on this entity, no pun intended, would be really difficult to do. It's not going to be as simple as getting someone that has, you know, no legal issues attached with them. Now, it's still possible they still technically can do this. However, it's still very difficult to do this considering there's so much things and you don't want to get in trouble because of it. Let's move on and talk about someone else. We are going to talk about Candyman and my oh my, there is so much evidence for Candyman. Um, the only things that say it's not Candyman is pretty much worked him out from Scott who has claimed to have insider information and he said that it is not Candyman. Again, Polyester has made a beautiful video on this talking about why he thinks it's Candyman. We know that Tony Todd follows behavior. He follows Dead by Daylight and he's been seeing saying that he's recording voice lines for things. He's also uh, a fan of Dead by Daylight apparently. So that's always a good sign for anything. We know that the way the fort is shaped in the fort year anniversary teaser image, it, it looks very similar to the Candyman movie. Uh, the promotional image that is for the movie. So a little bit of correlation there. We also have black and gold. Uh, black and gold is significant. As you know, we can relate that to honey and Candyman. So it correlates with that. Speaking of honey, on April Fool's, the entire Dead by Daylight Discord changed. And the theme for this year was bees. Everything was just B. It was DBD. Everyone had bees in their names. It was really interesting and i don't know why they decided to do that one maybe it was just to poke fun that it could be Candyman. maybe it wasn't we don't really know we'll have to wait and find out of course but we can still kind of put those clues together and link it to Candyman. there's more evidence for this but i won't go too in depth because there are other characters i want to talk about but there is a lot of evidence as i said for Candyman. Now, as I said, the only thing that really debunks this is, well, two things, I suppose. If we truly believe what Scott says and he says that he knows who the new killer is and he has ruled out Candyman for us, then that is pretty much all that we have to go off of. And we know that although Candyman is pretty iconic and he is classical, he isn't as popular as some of the other characters that we can think of that can fit this glove. If you think about Pennywise or if you think about Jason, you know, those are the first kind of things that come to your mind when you think of classical and iconic. You don't really think Candyman. And I know it's especially more accustomed to US people to think about Candyman, but a lot of people from overseas don't know much about him, so maybe we won't be getting him. Next on the list is Alien. Alien was something that I've seen been going around so much. Uh, Alien is really, really cool. It would be an amazing concept. Uh, again, it is classical, it is iconic, it would fit the glove. Now recently there was a good fake leak, a really good one indeed, that uh, surfaced and it was basically talking about Alien coming on into the game. 
And you know, a lot of people fell for this. So a lot of people started messaging me and DMing me and saying, oh my God, have you seen this? There was a lot of things wrong with it. I won't get into it, but it was fake. But it makes you think about, can we actually get Alien on into the game? Now, the things that I think of that wouldn't work because of this is that if you do get Alien, how would that correlate with the map? What map are you going to bring in? Because I know Dead by Daylight won't do anything with space. They won't like put us outer space, you know, because we're trapped in the world of the entity. So we probably won't see anything like that coming on in anytime soon, but you never know. If they did get the licensing agreement for this, there is a possibility that this could happen. We're going to move on the list now to Pyramid Head. Earth to Lydia has made an amazing video talking about why she thinks that it could be Pyramid Head coming on to the game from Silent Hill. Pyramid Head has so much evidence as well. If you take a look at the four in the Dead by Daylight anniversary uh, promotional image, it looks just like the shape of Pyramid Head. A lot of people are like, wait a minute, did you see this? We also know that Silent Hill is a huge franchise, so it fits the classical genre. As for the emotional aspect, however, we don't really know if it really fits the glove for that. The only thing that we have on record of death saying that is pretty emotional for them would obviously be uh, Pinhead, Pennywise, and Jason. We know this because of an interview that they did, and leading them all would probably be Pennywise and how much uh, Stephen King means to the devs, all of the devs. So there's not really the emotional connection with Pyramid Head, so to speak, but we do know the impact of it. Now, I just read an article not too long ago saying that PS5 is actually testing out Silent Hill, which pokes a little bit of holes into Lydia's argument because she was saying we haven't really heard from them and a lot of the projects got canceled. So it could be something iconic coming from a video game rather than a movie or a book. So you never know. It could happen, but I think that one is a little, a little bit reaching for that one because uh, it, it's more difficult to get other video game characters on in rather than movie characters that are pretty iconic and have a more impact on the average audience than a specific video game because it's really hit or miss moving on we have to talk about him pennywise and pennywise is the last person we're going to be talking about in this video there's also a bunch of other theories that i want to go and tell you guys about but it would just we'll just be here all day so Pennywise, obviously, as I said, fits the glove. It's emotional, it's classical, and the arguments that I always see for this is people saying that, you know, we already have Clown, and what I always say is if they got the licensing from Stephen King, they will make it work. Even if it is a clown, somehow they figure out a power, they'll make it work. I'm never worried about the lore or the power or the perks or anything like that. I'm always very focused on who the character could be. Now, the issue here is, is that Stephen King is very protective with all of his creations and to get something like that in the game would be absolutely huge amazing it would be uh, a great way to start off the fourth year however i don't think this is going to happen just because of how close this is to him i don't think he'll be giving it up to dead by daylight anytime soon but that's just what i think you don't know what strings dead by daylight could have pulled maybe they somehow managed to get this um but we'll have to wait and see that is pretty much all the evidence that we've had you know um, I am forgetting about Pinhead and I'm going to be saving that for tomorrow because Pinhead is my final guess on who uh, this chapter could be on. I have a good feeling that it's either Jason or Pinhead and uh, I'll save that video for tomorrow on my final guess. So yeah, that is going to wrap up the video. Again, not too much information, nothing solid that we really have. This is the first time in a long time we're really clueless on what the new chapter could be. The developers have done a phenomenal job at keeping this one a secret, which makes me think that it's absolutely huge. There's been no like uh, killer code names or anything like that. Absolutely nothing. So it makes me think this is absolutely huge and we need to prepare for something big. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Be ready. Tuesday, we're going to have about five or six videos coming out, all based on the new stuff that is going to be on the Dead by Day live stream. If they do drop the PTP on that day, we're also going to be making videos on that. And then afterwards, we're going to be streaming. So be prepared for a lot of content. As always, I'm the King. I tip my crown to you guys. And we'll see you in the fog.